And we're joined now by the governor of Pennsylvania, Josh Shapiro, and Colonel Christopher Paris, commissioner of the Pennsylvania State Police, which led this intense manhunt. Gentlemen, good morning to you. Morning. Good morning. Governor, I'll start with you. Obviously, a huge sigh of relief for the community, for the team of officers, an incredible effort there on the ground. Are you surprised, though, it, that it took 14 days for this man to be captured? Now, look, I'm incredibly proud of the Pennsylvania State Police, and I'm in incredibly grateful to the good people of Chester County who every single day remained vigilant, who worked hard to make sure that we were able to capture this suspect without incident. There was no loss of life. There was no threat in the community, thank God. And ultimately, at the end of the day, we found ourselves in a position of seeing the best of law enforcement, law enforcement at every level, state, local, and federal coming together to apprehend this suspect, to capture him without incident. I'm proud of them. Colonel, it's been a long, long two weeks. What was the hardest moment for you and your team? When, when did spirits dip the most? I don't know that the spirits actually dip. There are highs and lows in an investigation like this. The resolve was constantly there, not only within the ranks of the state police, but also with our federal and local partners. And we knew that he was desperate. We knew that he was looking, or he was where we were looking, and we needed to just press the incident through to its conclusion. And do you agree, Colonel, that he was getting ready to flee the country? Our concern always was the threat to public safety, and we're indebted to the people of Chester County. He had a weapon. It was a weapon that could have certainly hurt law enforcement, but more importantly than that, it could have hurt um, members of the public. So a desperate person on the run with nothing to lose, facing life without parole, that was our chief concern. Uh, we wanted to find him wherever we could. Colonel, how, how, what do you think about this photo op with some members of the team posing with the suspect moments after his capture? How does that sit with you? Is that appropriate? Thank you for the question. Uh, I believe that you have to put it in proper context that these tactical operators surrounded him and sat through a lightning and thunderstorm through the evening when we lost the aerial overwatch. And this was an individual who was crawling towards a weapon, which he stole. And the professional restraint that they showed and being able to take him uh, alive and in relatively uh, good health, we're very proud of that professionalism. Governor, how about you? Look, I, I'm proud of them, and they're proud of their work. I think it's important that we acknowledge that for 14 days, law enforcement from every level left their homes, left their loved ones, and they put their lives at risk. So, man, I think it's important uh, for everybody to understand that the gun that Cavalcante had literally was capable of piercing the bulletproof vest that they were wearing. They put their lives at risk every day. Uh, they were proud of their work, and I'm incredibly proud of them. No question, it was an inc inc incredibly difficult and involved operation and not a single shot fired, nobody hurt. That is incredible work there. Governor Shapiro, Colonel Paris, thank you very much for your time. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.